to, you know, step up your game and, uh, you know, hold down the Trio ENT name? Yes, ma'am. It's a lot of pressure. I mean, I just got to keep working, grinding hard. Been doing what I've been doing. I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. It, it should happen after that. A federal judge says the FBI had no role in the death of an Atlanta rapper. The victim's girlfriend had sued the government on grounds an FBI informant was in on the killing. Channel 2's Jim Strickland is live at federal court to break down this case. Jim? Carol, four years after the death of rapper Lil Fat, questions have lingered as to whether the FBI and one of its agents' confidential informants had anything to do with it. Well, the judge in this ruling said the FBI had no control over that informant. In fact, just the opposite. One of my good customers. The informant, convicted mobster turned Atlanta car dealer Manny Chilpaya. His clients in the footage, murder victim Lil Fat. Chilpaya's clients were often drug dealers whom he'd keep tabs on for the FBI. There was a complete indifference with the FBI of what happens to people as a result of their informant's actions. A hit crew had used Chilpaya's GPS trackers to find and kill Lil Fat at Northside Hospital in 2012. Jill Payev told me in a jailhouse interview, several federal agencies had his GPS passcode. They all knew how to log into my service because that's how they track their customers. Attorney Lou Robio had argued, an FBI agent's use of Chilpayev encouraged the use of the tracking devices, which were key to finding and killing the rapper. They did not care. It was make a case. Who cares what happens to anyone? But Judge Thomas Thrash ruled Chilpayev was acting of his own free will without control from the FBI. Now, Chilpayev is free after Fulton County prosecutors decided they could not win a murder conviction against him. Four others are in prison in the killing of Lil Fat, and the FBI agent involved is still under investigation. Attorney Lou Robio told me via email that he plans on appealing this ruling. Um, well, NBA Youngboy dropped a song called R.I.P. Lil Fat. And that was, that was your homie from your crew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, number one, why did why did a young boy drop that song? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, probably because you know, young boy liked the little flat. You know, he you know he fuck with little flat music. You know, that, that's probably why he dropped it. You know, but at the time, you know, at the time, nah, I don't want to speak on it. I don't want to speak on it. I'm gonna let that go. Um. Nah, I don't want to speak on it. 
I don't want to speak up. I'm going to let that go. Uh... I was fucked up about it, but me and Fat wouldn't see it out of when he when he died. The prosecutors tell us that they held an emergency meeting with Sandy Springs detectives soon after our investigation aired in January. Channel 2 consumer investigator Jim Strickland's live at the Fulton County Courthouse. And Jim, you've learned the prosecutors had the evidence they needed in the murder at Northside Hospital soon after that emergency meeting. Yeah, that's right, Justin. I've been working for weeks to confirm the information that the district attorney, Paul Howard, laid out for me this afternoon. Three of four suspects accused in the murder of hip-hop artist Little Fat are now in custody, including the one-time Russian mobster I confronted in January over a string of shady car deals. It turns out Little Fat was a customer of Manny Chilpayev and involved in one of those deals. And I termed it in a sense. The shooting happened June 7th in a parking ramp at Northside Hospital. D.A. Paul Howard says hip-hop artist Little Fat was there about to become a father. We have a picture of the high-end Audi he was sitting in when he was shot repeatedly. Howard says Little Fat got the car from former Russian mobster Manny Chilpayev. Chilpayev's accused of ordering a contract killing. He was stalked by these two hit men. Uh, it was planned. Howard says Lil Fat had told police only two days earlier that Chilpayev had also leased him this BMW, a car reported stolen, and that silencing the rapper was at least part of the motive. Manny had nothing against this kid and grieved when he found out he was killed. Chilpayev's Atlanta attorney, George Plumides, also represented Lil Fat. Uh, yeah. Plumides says Chilpayev has an alibi and questions why officers armed with machine guns swarm to make the arrest. An investigative crew from ABC News was watching as they whisked Chilpayev away in a SWAT vehicle. They put him out of business and they got nothing. My investigation in January focused on Chilpayev's history in stolen cars and his role as a federal informant. It had not been for your story that some of the uh, evidence that we've located, uh, that evidence might not have been located within the same reasonable period. To dig on the story that has some identicals, and our Channel 2 Action News investigation uncovered more details. Chopayev is an admitted former member of the Russian crime family called Brooklyn Brigade. Prosecutors in Atlanta convicted him in 2005 in a car scam. He relocated his car business to Florida. Accused of the murder of Lil Fat, something he strongly denies. There is no reason to be afraid of me. I'm the nicest guy you'll ever meet. And about the FBI agent in the Atlanta office who was Shapayo's half, Dante Jackson, now under investigation by the FBI itself, after allegations he obstructed the murder case while receiving extravagant gifts from his informant. It's nice to have an FBI agent that's looking over your shoulder, I guess. Were you a thug? Is that fair to say? No, I wasn't a thug. I was just not afraid. It's two different things. Zhapalyev came to the United States in 1989 as a 12-year-old. 16 years old, I had my first Mercedes-Benz, so, you know, I went to school just to show off, not to, you know, not to study. And by his own later admission in a National Geographic documentary, the teenage hoodlum quickly became a major organized crime terror in New York, ultimately making millions of dollars. Just so I have my background straight, what have you been convicted of? I was convicted of, you know, running a, uh, you know, being in an organized crime group back in the days. Arson? Arson. Kidnapping? Kidnapping. Extortion? To be exact, conspiracy to all that. Fire marshals are investigating a fire... Convicted as one of the men behind the arson that destroyed this huge supermarket. This morning it went to three alarms. But to avoid a long prison term or deportation, Shapoyev quickly made a deal to cooperate with the government and the FBI and rat out his partners in crime. You were convicted of crimes that could have put you in prison for life. Yes. Could have led to your deportation. Yes. None of that happened. Yes, of course none of that happened because Why? I cooperated. You took the FBI's way out? I took my way out, yes. At the time, the FBI and federal prosecutors said Zhapayev was one of the most important witnesses ever against the Russian mob.